What is going on guys? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy. Having a great day. As you can see, I have these panels wired up and actually charging these batteries. It's been charging the batteries the last couple days. It was actually real cloudy the last couple days. Let me just turn all these on. They're like touch screen. They have a sleep function. If you guys didn't see the last video, go check it out. But all these batteries are at 99% right now. And on my app on my phone, it's showing that I'm not getting a lot of sunlight from these panels because the batteries are charged and I'm not pulling any power from them. So in this video, we need to get this guy wired up. I literally have nothing hooked up. As you can see, nothing in there. Breakers are right there. We gotta get them all situated in this thing. Gotta get the uh, cable right here. This is uh, actually gonna get the end cut off it. I'm gonna use this. It's a uh, six gauge wire. Yeah, six AWG plus two. I don't know if that means it's eight AWG. If it is, it doesn't matter because I'm only running one 30 amp circuit off this thing. I'm not gonna be pulling that much. I only wanna pull like 80% of this unit. So that's, you know, 30 amps is plenty. So I'm gonna have a 30 amp PDU, 240 volts wired to some crypto miners. And then I gotta get this guy running my exhaust fans once I get everything, you know, up and mining in here. But I gotta get this thing wired up. Let me get this off. Let me shut all this down and let's do it. All right, so I got the batteries still on here, but I killed all the breakers just cause, you know, working inside these things, you really wanna have things off just in case. I killed this breaker, shut off the switch here, and I killed the PV input to the actual inverter here just in case. I definitely probably didn't need to do that, but we're gonna go over to the pergola right now and kill these two wires just because that's something we need to do. And also I need to wire this PE, which is the ground, to a ground rod outside. I have it actually right here. Show you, I already started pushing it into the ground this guy i just gotta beat the shit out of it and get it in there the rest of the way so let's go shut off the pergola yeah my app was literally showing like a hundred or something watts and i'm like this thing is dead in the sun and i was getting 3600 in the clouds yesterday so i know it's because the batteries are completely full all right red is dead so we're gonna kill the power going out we should be safe to work on this thing you guys can see this uh, ground cable right here though. I ran this down in one of my last videos and I actually pounded a ground rod into the ground right over here. It's actually under the dirt down in there. So that's what I, exactly what I need to do and I did end up burying the wires all the way over to where they're going. Okay, everything should be dead so we should be good to go. Now what we're gonna do is hook up the load to this 40 amp breaker this is a two pole 40 that's what's going to be fed by this guy right here over to this panel now the way two pole breakers work if you guys don't know each leg feeds half of the panel with 120 right so the reason it's two pole is because it touches both sides of the panel being fed with 240 volts 120 here 120 here all right so there you go that's that's that but we're gonna push that right there and that's where we're gonna be wiring this guy too and then i'm going to do a 30 amp breaker on the opposite side and this is going to be feeding all of my crypto mining machines so i can make some money all right now those are all pushed in all the way so again inverter going into this one 30 amp going into this one that's going to be a circle uh one of them circle plugs right 30 amp plugs for a pdu that i have uh right here you can kind of see one of those outlets the i think it's like a lr 30 or something if i'm not mistaken this one's the 30 amp and then these ones i actually actually that one's a 30 and this one's a 20 right here but these are all live that's all grid power i'm not using those as you guys know so now the reason i'm doing things like this and i'm not running the legs up to the actual uh top lugs right there where the wires typically would come in is because if i ever add another inverter i could just throw in another 40 amp breaker here and wire it to the inverter that way and then i have that one which will back feed the panel as well and obviously all my loads could be on this side and all my inputs would be on this side i'm using this as like a load center you could separate this but for right now i only have one inverter so there's no reason to like separate this if that makes sense so again 40 amps is going to be on this side i could add literally up to what two four six eight so four more so five on this side and five on this side so 
I that that's way more than enough. I don't think I'm ever going to go more than two, possibly three max. But regardless, this is all we're going to have for now. And then I have a 20 amp breaker right here that we're going to be saving for a later date just in case I need like a 120 outlet somewhere. And I'll probably just put that like right here. But I do actually have to wire uh, this guy as well. Totally forgot about that until I just said the 20 amp thing. This is a surge protector for AC side, right? As you can see, this came with my signature solar kit. If you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. I'll leave a link right here. So this should be good for surge protection on this panel. And that's going to be the plan there. All right, let me uh, get this cut up. Let me wire this up and I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second. So a bit more than a second later, this is literally like three or four hours later, but I got it all wired up and landed. I got the wire cut here. You can see I got the ground grounded, the neutral bar there, and I actually put these, um, what the hell are they called actually? I don't even remember. Ferrules. We got those on the ends of these wires. Now, I realized what the wire gauge meant on this, the six plus two. So it was six gauge here and plus two eight gauges. So these are eight gauges and these wires are six gauge. So it's gonna work perfectly for what I need. It's way overkill for this uh, panel, right? So anyways, you can see I got the 40 amp here with the two positives, right? They're both 120 volts. They're gonna be feeding both these legs. I have a surge protector going directly into this 40 amp. So this inverter is covered if this breaker's off for whatever reason and this one is still on. Um, it's going to, you know, obviously catch any surge. And then I also added another surge protector that is going for the entire two legs on the panel to obviously protect those. Anything going on the outside, I just, if I added another single breaker like that 20 amp that I had somewhere... I don't know where I put it. I was cleaning up. But anyways, if I added that 20 amp breaker, that would be covered by this surge protector as well. So that's the reason I did that. Then I got all the grounds over here tied together. Got the ground wire actually going outside. I actually zip tied it along this guy right here, all the way down through to the ground rod that I pounded in eight feet. So that's uh, gonna be good there. And then last but not least, I have the neutral bar that really doesn't do anything to be honest. So I just have that wire going from here to again that spot right there so that's just that and you don't want to tighten this nut right like this will actually make a ground neutral uh, bond you don't want to do that because the 6000 xp actually does that internally by itself there's a setting in there so you guys could go read that in the book um, and then i have the 30 amp pdu outlet right here that is being fed with 240 volts as you can see 30 amp breaker sorry the shadow sucks i know the sun's going down that's going to be this guy right here as you can see i had it plugged in or have it plugged in right here but i'm going to be uh, utilizing it for the ks zeros and my brand new uh al box too so i can't wait to do that anyways let's fire this up because i haven't done it yet all right lids are on let's uh i get this back on i guess i think we have to turn yeah we got to turn these on first one two three again those batteries are all at 100 percent let's turn this breaker on that's the battery bank then we're going to turn on the inverter and then i have to go outside and turn on the panels even though uh the sun's almost down let's go uh yeah let's go turn the panels on okay just gonna flip these on on well, the bifacial should be getting some eh little not too much but Let's get these on. Red, you're dead. All right, let's go back. Before I forget, this is the ground rod. Just wanted to trigger a few people in the comments. <laughs> I actually just didn't have the clamp, but whatever, it'll work for now as a connection. I don't care. All right, let's get this thing on. And yeah, so we got 244 volts I just saw. 200 watts 300 watts so there's really like nothing coming in right now really not too much sun's literally almost down it's like seven o'clock at night um all right let me get the load on okay loads on and the blue lights right there just signified that this breaker the first breaker has power that's awesome that's a great indicator actually by the way i didn't even think about that all right three two one okay 40 amp is on the other blue lights came on hell yeah now we just gotta see if this works one two three Let's see don't fuck with me damn it that means one of the wires came off of this freaking thing but i didn't hear any pop 
So it's got to be working. Ugh. All right, let me take this apart. So the only thing I could think of is possibly the red wire was the hot, and I mistakenly put the white as the hot, right? There was an extra wire here. This is four, uh, sorry, 10-3 instead of 10-2. That was all I had, and it was already wired to this. So I just cut the wires and stuck them in. So <laughs> whatever. All right, let's rip this apart. So I'm thinking it's a setting issue, actually. It's just weird that these lights are blue. I could have swore there was power here, but if you look with my tester here, right, I could touch these legs and they don't go off. So it's not getting enough to set this off. If I touch the 20 amp in here that's actually wired, it goes off. So I know this works, but there's no, no power here or not enough power here, just enough to make those lights work. That's weird as shit, so I'm gonna have to figure out why that is. You know what I think it is? I think it's that button right there. Son of a bitch. All right, let me put this back together. Let's try it again. All right, load is on. That light is a bit bluer. All right, three, two, one. Makes me nervous. Super nervous. Power to the panel, much bluer. Boom. Yes, that was it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Stupid switch. Well, that's the lesson you learn from a brand new inverter. You learn things as you go. 240 volts. Hell yes. Amazing. Can't wait to get this thing up and mining, but I'm going to save that for another video because it's getting too dark, guys. Have a good day. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'll catch you in a bit. Peace out.